Hey everyone, <laughs> welcome to the Horror Show. I'm Cecil Laird. I'm Mark Springer. I'm Honey Fuego. And we're here to react to the just dropped today trailer for the offshoot of the Conjuring universe, which is The Nun. Uh, <laughs> this is obviously an offshoot of the second movie where they introduced The Nun. James Wan at some of his most brilliance. Um, and uh, yeah, so they did an offshoot of The Nun, even though we saw kind of what happened to The Nun at the end of Conjuring 2, but, you know. Well, this, this is a prequel from what everybody's saying, and I'm actually assuming it's going to be the earliest film in the entire Conjuring franchise. Ooh, the so origin is this story. Also, is this also um, directed by... No. Um, no. No, this no. is not directed by James Wan. Yeah, this is being directed by Corin Hardy, and he is also uh, involved... Uh, what did he work on before? Well, he's a he's a protege. He was supposed to be doing the uh, the new Crow movie, which collapsed and was canceled once again. But uh, yeah, September seventh of this year, we will be seeing this film unless they delay it again or some some silliness. Well, but well, I'm not gonna lie, I am kind of sad to hear that James Wan isn't going to be the director. But I will give this person a chance to see if they can do the conjuring justice because uh, the nun isn't the crooked man but i'm still excited to see what they have to show for her Agreed. yeah i guess i guess hardy did the hallow which i never saw that was good I, the hallow was good hmm. it, it was the hallow or the hallows no, the it was the hallow that was good. It was not the. I think it was the hollow that was bad. The hallow was good. The yeah, hollow was the, the was where... the forest movie. The hallow was also a forest movie, but it was a much better one. Um, yeah, yeah, that is the one that you're thinking of. And it was like British Irish co production, right. and like the poster is uh, this dude actually, with fire. I was, and... I was thinking about the hallows, so the school and the kids and the hanging. No, not that. No. One. <laughs> not that one. Okay. Yeah, so they they are describing this as the darkest entry in the Conjuring universe. Ooh, I'm curious if it's going to live up, but I love the cast, man. Damien Bacar. It's got uh, uh, the other Far Farmiga. It's it's not Vera Farmiga. Is it Tysa? Tysa. Yeah, the girl who was in Final Girls. Final Girls, yeah. Uh, also a couple seasons of American Horror Story. I really, really, really like that actress. So anyway. Oh, yeah. Ooh. Let's watch it. <laughs> all right, Let's so, all right, so we're gonna do a three, two, one, then go. All right. Three, yeah. two, one, then go. All right, so I'm gonna pull one, up the desktop two, and in three, two, one, go. I had a series of visions when I was younger. Serious. After each one ended. The same thought would be stuck in my head. Wait, who are you? Oh, it's so cool. Did you see? I saw none. Word of my visions reached the church, and I was asked to accompany a priest Damn, that's to like an abbey Harry in Maine. Potter world. The abbey has a long history. Valak. Oh boy. Not all good. What? Jimmy came down. Callahan's here. Hmm. Ooh, that's not far. I told you, September 7th. Yeah. Who listens to you? Very few, unfortunately. <laughs> Millions. Ah! Uh, I'd like... Is this gonna get you? Sorry, I got excited. Oh my god, she has no face! That's cool. Ooh! Hello. Oh! Alright! <laughs> nice! I'm gonna just let it run from the beginning while we talk. So, all right, let's let's get some reactions here. Yeah, but they uh, told you make sure to watch till the end. That's like you're expecting a jump scare at the end. Boo to that. But otherwise, this looks great. I wasn't expecting a jump scare at the end, even though it said watch to the end. I was expecting a jump scare, and I always get scared. 
<laughs> so did you guys jump then? That's hilarious. I didn't jump, but I jumped at the end. I totally jumped. It's on camera. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna have to rewatch just to see your reactions because I'm watching this full screen, so I can't see. So is that Jeffrey Combs, the guy from the Reanimator? Well, that's um, oh, what the hell is I his know, name? People are. He looks like just Jeffrey look Combs. Oh no, uh, he's not him. Okay. Damien Bakir. Okay. He's a younger De Jeffrey Combs. Yeah, the, the I mean the location is crazy huge. Like this is yeah. They threw yeah. a lot of money behind the location, but yeah, the the this was nope. cool. I I really dug that that the nuns behind her and then it just kind of walks behind her and then she turns around and it's there. Like that's what I like about that is they're obviously getting creative with their scares and I love mm -hmm. that. Yeah, story is still by James Wan collaborating with another screenwriter. So Wan is co-writing the stuff before it actually goes to the screenplay format. So, I mean, yeah, well, I'm, I'm yeah, down that this is his, his universe influence still. Is on there. And it makes sense to have his influence since he has really built the series. He created um, it. It's his universe yeah. pretty much. Yeah. And uh, I'm, like, I'm kind of more excited now. Like, I... There's something about jump scares that really just gets me going. Like, that's why I love the paranormal activities. That's why I love the conjurings is because I love, like, I get jump scared all the time, even in my house. Like, Pete scares the crap out of me. Like, I never <laughs> see a walker, and all of a sudden he just appears, and it scares the shit out of me. But I can't help but laugh and just enjoy it because it's just like, what the fuck? I just, I love it, and I'm excited. Um, I just hope they. I hope it's as good as as this is as it appears to be. Well, this was just a like, teaser, still. Yeah, yeah this was like a barely a minute. So. And I wasn't really a big fan of the nun because I thought it its placement in Conjuring Two was kind of like why I didn't really understand it because I thought the Crooked Man was enough. But, well, and also, um, Marsha, remember, it was a tacked-on idea that was not even originally supposed to be there. And, like, yeah. halfway through production, they were like, you know, he's got this cool idea, so let's see if we can kind of mush it in there. And and now it's a movie even before The Crooked Man or well, another because, Conjuring movie. Or, I mean, it does make sense. It just gives them an opportunity to add on another movie into the series and... Um, introduce it to fans and see if anybody like will grasp onto it if there's any interest in it and um, I would love to see a crooked man but this this will work this it's will still work. in development though they're still working on a crooked man movie they have a third Annabelle movie in development it's a third conjuring but yeah this looks so much better than I was anticipating and I didn't necessarily think my prediction of before everything, like the the prequel of prequels was going to be true, but based on setting and time period, it, it looks like that's going to be the case. So go for it. And I love I like, that. I love that painting at the beginning when it goes dark and you can still see, you know, her face. face. It's so yeah. awesome, dude. Yeah. I I liked it again. It's very much a teaser. We didn't get any, uh, you know, really much of the story. So I'll be interested for the first full trailer to see what the actual story is as they lay it out, and then just getting scares. So this honestly was a perfect teaser trailer because it just whetted my appetite yeah. and made me want to uh, watch uh, whatever else they give me yeah. as far as the lead up to this goes. See the yeah. eyes. Sorry, go Marcia. Ahead. Go. No, go ahead. Uh, yeah, I was see? Gonna... <laughs> Ladies first. I am... So, go, go. I, sorry. Uh, I am concerned about this story itself. I think that it, this gives me hope that the jump scares are going to be there. The horror aspect is going to be there. I am concerned of the, the actual storyline because it could go south pretty quickly if they haven't really thought it through. So... That aspect I am a little nervous about. So Fair enough. Fuego, your thoughts? Oh, no. I was just saying that uh, after like, after the painting faded out, and I think this is what you were alluding to, was where you still saw like the eyes and like the glowing just kind of after all of the exterior light had faded out and stuff. And I, I even thought when the trailer first started that I saw the eyes moving around, but all that it was was the painting backwards mm -hmm. and just the black around the eyes shrinking as it got further away. But 
this looks so much better than I was thinking it would. So uh, not that I'm over the moon for it or anything, but I, I'm excited. It looks so well shot, and I, I love religious horror. The shit scares the crap out of me. Uh, there was a movie called The Church, I want to say. Um, it was an Italian movie from the 70s that you know gave a similar vibe to me. So, uh, yeah, any of you Italian horror fans, don't crucify me for making the comparison, but, yeah, this looks cool. And I, uh, again, all, all it did was uh, whet my appetite for a longer version of this. The, the the painting aspect of it is so dope. That was one of the best things about The Conjuring 2. And seeing the, you know, the highlighted paints uh, appear when it's dark and stuff is so cool. She's so much scarier. And so I, I'm into this. I, I'm on board. I was going to be into it. I love The Conjuring. The Conjuring might very well be my favorite new horror series of the 2000s. Um, well, because, dude, dude, the universe is like the modern MCU of horror, like with all the interconnected yeah. other... Yeah, well, and I don't even like... I hated the first Annabelle. The second one was, was awesome, but the first one sucked. But yeah, both yeah, Conjuring movies were amazing. Bad. Both yeah, Conjuring movies Annabelle were amazing. the first Annabelle movie was like, what, Iron Man 2, maybe? Yeah, of the MCU yeah, or something. absolutely. <laughs> absolutely. Well, the, the most disappointing part of the Annabelle movies, and I will get back on my horse on this, um, <laughs> is, is that... They, on the Conjuring one, they gave us a, a story for Annabelle, and it was interesting, and it was intriguing, and it, you wanted that story, and they still haven't given us that story. Just, like, the basic of, of Annabelle being in that apartment with those two roommates, and the chaos that ensued after it. Like, it was a really brief background of Annabelle, and we still don't have that story and every time they have a movie about it we're waiting for that story and in the the first i feel like even though they did the 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 wrap around with the first story and and, and the second it it's still i don't know it's still lacking i think it's still lacking with animal even though they did the uh fantastic job on the second one i think they could have just i i don't know i don't know annabelle well. Yeah, because I just want the story they originally teased us with, like four years ago, with the contrary. Because <laughs> well, that you know story what? is scary. That's what I want to watch. I would imagine that they are sitting on that, and you know what else they're sitting on? The insidious and conjuring crossover. God damn, that'd be so cool, though. Probably eventually get to as well. They're just. I like, hope so. They're, they're like bringing Shay into the conjuring. Around, that'd you know? be so dope, dude. Yeah, they are moving their pieces around. They, they Although she's to... dead, though, so you can't bring Lin Shay into the Conjuring universe unless it's a, another fucking prequel of some kind. Well, they all, well, dude, they took place in the 70s, right? So, of course, they did. Oh, could that's do true. It. That's true. That's true. Yeah. Fair enough. Hmm. All right. Well, um, yeah, I think that pretty much covers The Nun, guys. What do you guys think? Uh, do you enjoy it? Did you, Were you uh, on board for this teaser trailer? Are you excited to see more? You know, let us know in the comments down below. But, uh,. Also, in case you didn't realize, we launched our Patreon recently, so the link to that is in the description box down below. So if you want to support the channel, the most direct way to do it is by clicking that Patreon link. And if you do so, you essentially become a producer of the show because you can choose, at depending on what tier you do, you can choose a movie for us to review, a live stream to take part of, or even a live stream topic to choose. So there's yeah. tons of options. Make sure you click that link and support the channel. We greatly appreciate you if you do. But thank you very much for watching our reaction to The Nun. Until next time, I've been Cecil Laird. I'm Mark Berger. Gracias, Jaime Fuego. And remember, stay, stay scary! scary.